Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS and the inventor of the CTKS method and Borsog Trading. If you're new, a very warm welcome and welcome back KS family and please note I don't have WhatsApp or Telegram. From my 30 plus years in financial markets, I explain the smart money mindset to assist you to be more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love, gaining real wealth and positive excellence in the process. Let's run the numbers. Bitcoin is currently up 1.42% to 16409. Ethereum is up 3.91% to 1215. In news just in, Coinbase Wallet will stop supporting Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum Classic, Stellar and XRP, citing low usage. This will happen on December the 5th. As crypto technical analysts, we pay attention to investor attention and that's measured through price. Price is the reality. So that's why we mark up our charts with the CTKS method. Then we look beyond the charts to see how global events are affecting our cryptos. And then we pop back into the crypto market finding the market's focus, understanding that opportunities reset daily, and it's really critical to enhance your pattern recognition so you can take early advantage of things when they change inside the market. But before we buy or sell, and there's many, many ways to do that, we make sure that we get rid of fear and instead make our decisions based on courage. Fear-based decisions will shake you out of the market. They'll have you buying at the wrong times and selling at the wrong times. The reason that we look outside the crypto market is because of rule 225. Bitcoin cannot escape the stock market's gravity. Yesterday, we saw global shockwaves from China. And now today, we see China's market actually improving. And the election of a new prime minister in Taiwan has really driven them Taiwanese markets higher. In news today, Chinese authorities seek out COVID protesters. And Prime Minister Sanak says UK's golden era with China is over. He said that the naive idea that trade would lead to social and political form, reform is just literally naive. The US has always thought this way, that trade would bring about democracy and freedom for China. The UK Prime Minister and China's President Xi Jinping were supposed to meet at the G20 summit in Bali, but that fell through. And last week, London banned Chinese-made security cameras from sensitive government buildings. And Apple has no easy road out of China. Apple's revenues are going to take a hit. Because Foxconn, Apple big, Apple's biggest iPhone maker, making about 70% of iPhones globally, is likely to see output cut by at least 30%. So it's not been surprising that Apple's price has been hit. And Apple is the mainstay of so many funds and fund managers that when Apple goes down, literally the entire world goes down with it. The president of South Korea is willing to tailor benefits to attract Tesla Gigafactory out of China. And he's also warning of an unprecedented response to North Korea's nuclear test and calling on China to do more. But it's unlikely that anything will stop Kim Jong-un from becoming the world's most powerful nuclear program. The North Korean dictator wants to be the world's number one in nuclear bombs. North Korea intends to build the most powerful nuclear force in the world. Wow. Fantastic. And this threat comes as the country has launched dozens of nuclear capable missiles into the sea east of the Korean Peninsula. Looking at the main markets in the past trading session, the major thing to note is what happened with the DXY. It continued its rise up. That increased yields brought down bond prices, put negative pressure on gold. But we can see this still geopolitical instability. It brought the major indices down. And we can see the VIX has been elevated and not dropped. We're also seeing that risk sentiment has decreased, but it could potentially increase. It's not dropped through a support level. When we look at junk bonds, 
And we can definitely tell that the DXY has had a change in direction. It's broken out of this short term resistance and it's challenging smart money sell levels, a particularly strong one at 106,998. The DXY is currently 106,850. Support below is at 106,673 and 106,288. Resistance above 106,998 and 107,196. When looking at the S&P 500 futures, we can see the current price is 3960 and 25. We're just literally below a smart money resistance level of 3962 and 25. We have a higher level of resistance and much stronger at 3996 and 50. And if we see, if we reject this particular resistance at 39.62, there's not much, well, there's an air pocket all the way down to 38.81. They are definitely key levels to keep your eye on. And when looking at the SPY, we can see currently the price of the SPY is 394 and 76. We've been rejected from this very steep level of sell resistance levels at for example the 404.88 mark and we didn't hold on to support at the 401.38. We saw increasing sell pressure come in and break the SPY through the 401.38 level but it was caught by different levels of smart money support underneath. However, we're coming up to an air pocket right here. And when air pockets occur, price can move very quickly either upwards or downwards. Something to be very, very aware of. And when we look at structural support inside the market, the next major level is 382 and 84 cents. We look at these statistical Correlations because of rule 225. If the stock market comes down, Bitcoin is going to come down with it. And we look at Bitcoin because our beloved alts cannot escape Bitcoin's gravity. It doesn't matter what alt you have. If Bitcoin comes down and you especially saw that in yesterday's video, your beloved alts have a 99% probability of coming down with it. Looking at total crypto market cap can give us a very, very accurate idea of what the entire crypto market is doing. The entire crypto market is currently 790.73 billion and there's a smart money sell level at 799.23 billion and one at 808.01 billion. This is overhead resistance and resistance is where the sellers come in and say no price you're not going any higher unless price can literally push through those levels. What we're looking for is a big volume spike one of these large volume spikes to say, hey, sellers, get out of the way. That's what we need. We need a lot of commitment inside the market. If we don't get this and we reject these resistance levels at 799 and 808 billion, the next major support is 673 billion. That's quite a way below our current price. We see a similar thing playing out on Bitcoin. Bitcoin is currently 16,442. There's a smart money sell level at 16,649. A smart money buy level at 15,760. And another one at 14,585. But the major ones play in at the 13,895 level. We've got resistance above at 16,649, 17,096 and 17,998. We need to keep our eyes on these key levels. Looking towards the longs and the shorts, we can see overpass price action. The shorts were liquidated and now uh, the longs were liquidated and increasingly the shorts have become liquidated too. We've got both the longs and the shorts entering the market, which means that we're in a period of uncertainty. Both sides are vying for dominancy and it's a little 
questionable which side will win, but we actually understand we're under structural resistance across many, many charts. And that's why we look at those Stanfield levels. They're very, very important levels to look at. We can see total liquidations across the past 24 hours have been 42.85 million across 13,006 positions. That's really low. That's like weekend trading. Wow, worse than weekend trading. And over the past 24 hours, we've seen about 64.3% of total liquidations over the past 24 hours being short. Over the past 12 hours, about 54% long. Past four hours, about 81% short. And the past hour, increasing number, 91% short. But when we look at the number of liquidated positions, they're really, really low. And the volume is also quite low. We need the market to step in and show direction. And we are always prepared in three dimensions for the market to go down, go neutral or just flat or come up. And that's because we do our daily three dimensional risk management code. And this is critically important. It helps you to think about what the markets will do and gain more and more experience on the interdependent nature and inter interconnectedness of markets. Also, it throws light on what would potentially happen to your portfolio. This is this middle bracket if your estimate comes true. And don't forget that the institutions out there are always trying to desynchronize you. They're always trying to push fear into you to FOMO in under fear of missing out or FUD you out of the market through fear, uncertainty and doubt. And we know we control the trader investment, but the market controls the return. And that return is based on your active learning. The more active learning you do, the more knowledge and courage you have, the better the returns you'll make. And this code is fully explained in episode 685. Opportunities always reset in the crypto market and looking at the greatest gainers over the past 24 hours. HT was the greatest loser yesterday, the greatest gainer today. Ah, crypto. Doge was also in the greatest losers yesterday and look at it, it's made up today. And looking at the greatest losers yesterday, HT, CVX, Leo, Celo, Doge, CRV and XCN. The greatest gainers today, HT, XEN, Dash, Doge, Phantom, Rune, and Decred, DCR. You can see how volatile the crypto market is. The greatest losers one day can be the greatest gainers the next. The greatest gainers yesterday were Ape, Phantom, Stacks, BSV, Link, <laughs> and Stablecoins. And the greatest losers today are uh, Binary X, Nexo, Celo, Synthetix, Arweave, KuCoin, and NEM or XEM. Your beloved alts cannot escape Bitcoin's gravity. And when we saw Bitcoin selling off, we saw all of the alts selling off with it. And when Bitcoin recovers, it pulls all of the alts up, but to different percentages. And this is what we love about the alts. We love that upward progression. We can see Ethereum currently stronger than Bitcoin's gravity. BNB is weaker. XRP is stronger. And just take a note of that Coinbase wallet delisting on XRP. That could hit XRP's price. The question is, why did Coinbase want to delist XRP? Do they know something about the SEC court case? What do you think that's about? Please let me know in the comments. And we can see Doge moving in alignment with Bitcoin's gravity. Absolutely tanked yesterday and today really, really doing well. But a slight retracement in Bitcoin. When you look at these charts, you can literally see Bitcoin's price action. I've just scooted down to a five minute chart to show you the past couple of days of price action. This is where you can really see gravitational pull in either direction play out. And what about ADA? It's currently below Bitcoin's gravity. Matic below B Bitcoin's gravity. Dot just getting a bit of strength, but it's still below Bitcoin's gravity. And Litecoin getting light again. Litecoin has been a very, very good mover. Turning to the next eight, we can see SHIB below Bitcoin's gravity, but moving in alignment with it. Tron still below Bitcoin's gravity. 
Solana very much below Bitcoin's gravity. Uni just coinciding with Bitcoin's gravity at the moment. AVAX very suppressed. Link getting above. Why do we look at this? What, what's the point of actually looking at this data? We know for one thing that Bitcoin's gravity absolutely impacts any specific alt. If an alt is showing strength, while Bitcoin is showing weakness, we want to pay attention to that. That could be something good to get into. For example, look at Atom. Atom is showing strength relative to Bitcoin. It's also cleared a level of resistance. Very, very short term resistance, by the way. But it's actually cleared that short term resistance. This is what w and why we look at particular alts with Bitcoin's gravity, because we want to understand if we can get into an opportunity. And Stellar has also been delisted, basically. Well, then not Coinbase is not accepting Stellar in its wallet anymore. We should be aware of this. If you hold Stellar, please be aware of this. And again, why are they doing this? These are two major projects. And that news again, as of December the 5th, 2022, Coinbase Wallet will no longer be supporting the following assets and networks due to low usage. Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum Classic, XLM, Stellar and XRP. As a community, we understand that we actually enter the panic zone and the blame zone when we first start trading and investing because people have told us there's no risk and you can just replace your workday with money from the markets. But that's actually takes a lot of time, effort and energy and understanding to do. You need to know the rules of the markets. So that's why with forgiveness and gratitude and learning, we can get out of zone one and zone two into zone three and zone four, where we make money and keep money, but also live a beautiful life through positive excellence. And positive excellence is all about having the right process. Putting money last is the best thing that you can possibly do. After so many decades in financial markets, of course, when I was in zone one and zone two, many, many decades ago, I put money first. I wanted to make the money. But the problem is when you actually do this, you'll get scared out of positions because it's or your gamble, gamble and it's not advisable to do either in the market. The market rewards your level of knowledge first and foremost and also your emotional control. By taking up positive excellence, you can literally save yourself thousands, tens of thousands, or even tens of millions of dollars worth of losses. And if you can reduce your losses, you're going to do really, really well. The market always takes a tuition fee and that tuition fee is loss. It cannot be avoided. You can just seek to maximize your gains and minimize your losses. In the comments yesterday, I asked the, our beloved global family, how has the CTKS method helped you? And Beardy said, the CTKS method has helped me because in the beginning I had zero knowledge of markets and trading and it gave me a system I can count on. I didn't know even where to start. I was all over the place, just grasping at straws, so to speak. The CTKS method starts from zero and takes you to a professional level if you put in the work. It's 30 years of hard lessons squeezed into one masterclass. Good on you, Ken. Good on you, Beardy. Thank you, my friend. And throughout those 30 years, I have to tell you, I've lost and gained, of course, tens of millions of dollars. So these lessons that I've actually accumulated cost me tens of millions of dollars to share with you. And it's so important to have positive excellence as well. When you make the money, who will you actually be? Will you be a benefit and a blessing to other people or something else? And Sinman said, the CTKS method made me understand how interconnected the financial markets really are. Everything is correlated in some way, shape or form. As Ken said, the CTKS method is like X-ray vision into the markets. But honestly, I didn't really understand what he meant until I did the masterclass. My mind was blown a few lessons in. Thank you, my friend. And Dinesh said, the CTKS method really helped me to put all of these aspects 
For example, bonds, yields, gold, inflation, the traditional markets, crypto, and so many other things into perspective and made me a permanent non-FOMOing, fear of missing outing, and prepared individual, whether I want to invest or trade or both. Thank you, my friend. And Ivan shared, I had wrong ideas of trading before I found this channel and I would have probably fallen for scams or something. Before the masterclass, I learned a lot and I could deduce some of these things and even make a profit with the CTKS method. But man, the masterclass left that knowledge in diapers, just like a little baby. Oh, Ivan, thank you so much, KS family. And as Beardy said so, I started from zero and went to professional in one masterclass. When you're learning, it's very important that you do not learn from people trapped inside zone one and zone two, the retail mindset. These people simply have not spent enough time inside financial markets to get to zone three and zone four. You'll always be able to recognize zone one and zone two teachers because they talk a lot about 0% loss, 100% returns, things like that. that. That's just not the way that financial markets work. You're up against some of the best in the business. So you must have the correct rules, the make money rules. And you must have a way of thinking where money is not the God. Because if it is, you'll actually go down the wrong path, a path to unhappiness. Why is that the case? Because money, <laughs> money is unlimited. You just can't ever have enough of it. That's why we instead focus on gratitude. Gratitude is being happy where you are right now, on your path towards greater success. And Crypto Badger said, Once you learn the CTKS method of charting, you can never go back to the old ways. CTKS charting is far superior to any other method out there, but it is a skill that takes much commitment, dedication and practice to acquire. We learn it by going slow to go fast. The CTKS method is the best way to analyze any price chart. It totally embodies positive excellence and I'm so happy and thankful for that I took the masterclass. It's been life changing for me. Thank you, my friend. Very kind of you. Ken is an awesome teacher and he makes learning fun and palatable for anyone. Hey, you got to have fun while you're learning, especially while you're learning. And so nice to see your comment, I am you them. If you have friends or family who could benefit from positive excellence and what we do here each and every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, please introduce them to our community by sharing a video. We'd love to see them here. We have one of the best communities on YouTube. And well done grubbers, you nailed it. And Crypto Turtle said the CTKS method is the best way to chart because it shows you where smart money buys and sells. It is the first time I have ever seen it anywhere. And that is because Crypto Turtle, I actually invented it. I come from a long line of inventors and have been an inventor all my life. Thank you, Crypto Turtle, for your very kind words. And well done, everybody, for popping in your Borsog codes. And Mellow Cryptic said, the CTKS method shows you the institutional buy and sell levels. Use them wisely. Be a one man, woman, man or woman institution. Always have a three way plan. Keep your zone three and zone four hats on and let the market decide your reward. We are all going to win and learn. Beautiful Mellow. And thank you for your sharing, Zoran. Very nice. It's always good to keep in your mind this little cartoon. I find it fantastic. As price is going up, retail, zone one and zone two, that's the zone one and zone two dance floor. They're very, very happy. And what's not to be happy about? It's fantastic. But when the wave eventually comes crashing down because price moves in waves, retail takes off. But the thing that you notice, smart money, invisible, zone three and zone four are in here and the price is coming up. This is always the way things work in financial markets. 
And then when retail comes back, they come back in and time incorrectly because emotions have control of them. That's why I always say positive excellence is the way. It's the way to get out from fear. It's the way to get away from anxiety. It's, a, it's the way to become professional, but also to have a beautiful life. And that's what it's all about. To keep your mind positive, we have the CTKS Creed. If we don't have positive affirmations, we by default have negative ones. And negative affirmations are all fear-based. Negativity in your life will suck the joy and happiness and meaning out of your life. And it's actually a little bit easier to get rid of this negative negativity than we might initially think. But it needs to be done in a systematic manner. It starts when you know that life is for you, not against you. And that's why the first line of the CTKS Creed, I know the universe wants me to succeed. Every day I show kindness, integrity and gratitude. I know opportunities and life reset daily. I am worthy, I go slow to go fast. I start small and scale with Borsog. Life pullbacks give me the strength for the next life rally. I am dedicated and committed. I win or learn and never blame. By saying these things, you literally supercharge your life for success. We can never create a positive life with a negative mental outlook. So having a positive mental outlook is really, really vital. If you want to change your life for the better, just remember this little one. Thought change creates life change. It's absolutely correct. Stay safe out there, my friends. Take care and see you next time. Bye for now.